So you'd like to print some pictures. Well, uh, once your pictures are selected and they're in the tray, I'll just click hold here to make sure those pictures don't disappear me by accident. Uh, you select the print button at the bottom of Picasa. It's fairly straightforward. They have uh, a few sizes that you can select. You'll see that your pictures will be displayed in the selected size uh, on the page. It shows you at the bottom how many pages will be printed. If I increase the size of the print, let's say to 5 by 7, you can see that 5 by 7 prints are much larger than what was on the screen before, um, and it will actually rotate them. Uh, you should probably select shrink to fit, otherwise your pictures will get cropped so they fit on the page within the printable margins. And you'll see now, instead of one page, I actually have three pages, so here's page two and page three. The larger the picture size, the more pages it will take in order to, to print your pictures. I have five pictures selected, so five pages at eight and a half by ten. If I go to a small size like wallet size, well, they're all easily going to fit onto um, the page. If I increase the number of copies, if I click here, that has just doubled all of the pictures uh, to print. So I now have two dogs, three dogs, uh, and you'll see that it, 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 some of them may jump onto page two or page one or back and forth. So. Uh, Picasso will manage your pictures on the pages. It'll try to fill up as much room as it can to print. You also have the option to include borders and text on your on your pictures at this stage if you want. Uh, you can change your, your printer if you have a range of printers to, uh, to choose from. Uh, and also your printer setup if, if you wish. When you're ready, uh, you can either review. It'll give you like a page preview or just simply uh, select print and printing will start.